Let's continue on. This is how it goes. This is what it does. Um, here's the thing. Let's draw. Let's draw kind of like a 35 degree angle. Let's start out with the angle. When I'm giving a side and a side and an angle, I'm going to start out with the angle. So I'll draw something that looks kind of close to 35 uh, degrees. Kind of. I don't know. Let's, that kind of looks like 45 degrees to me. Doesn't matter. Close enough. So I'll say this is 35 degrees. And I'm also going to say that uh, I don't know how long this side is. Okay? Um, call this well, that's alpha, so A has to be across from it. Now, there's two, well, what if this is B? Whoops, B is 8. I mean, this could be B over here, but then it would just have the same thing except for upside down. And if you don't know what I mean, that's fine. But look at this. Uh, what was A? I think A was green. No, A was whatever. I think A was green. A could be like this. This could be 6, or if we swivel it out a little bit more, that could also be six. So there could be two answers. And the reason why this this could happen, I could have this triangle. That's one triangle. That's one possible triangle. Or I could have this triangle. The reason why both of these triangles are possible is because we don't know what this third side is. And we're given two sides and an angle. So I'm going to get two answers here. And here's how I can figure that out. First, I would just draw a regular triangle. See if that helps me. Um, so let's just draw a regular triangle. And I'm going to say this is 35. And that means this has to be 6, right? Uh, and because those are, it's alpha and A, they have to be opposite each other. And then it doesn't matter which one, uh, I'm going to say that this is B. This is, well, actually, I'll keep it like my picture. I'll say this is B. That means this angle is beta. And uh, this will be gamma, and this uh, side is C. Okay? So I have this. The first thing that I want to do, this corresponds to my alpha and A value, because that's what it said. So I'm going to say sine of 35 degrees over 6. And that can equal any one that I want. Now, I wouldn't really make it uh, equal to my blue one just yet, just because... I don't know anything about it. I have two unknowns there. So I'm going to make it equal to my uh, sine of beta over B, which is 8. And then I can solve for sine of beta. So I'll, I'll multiply both sides by 8. I'll undo that. Multiply both sides by 8. I can reduce this by dividing by 2. It becomes 4 and 3. So I have... 4 sine of 35 degrees uh, divided by 3, and that equals sine of beta. So well, I'm just going to rewrite it. Sine of beta, and if I plug this into a calculator, uh, I would get 0.76. So this might be the confusing part. This, this, this might be the confusing part. But remember, I already know that beta can be two different angles so and then that means you know uh, those could be two different angles as well so let's think about this how do I solve this 0 0.76 is not on the unit circle I can take the arc sign of both sides the inverse sign of both sides so that's what I'm gonna do but when I do this I'm restricting my angle beta I'm restricting it. This is my restriction that I'm putting it on. Putting that like beta is not actually restricted to this, but since I'm using arc sine to solve this, I'm restricted to negative pi over two to pi over two. Remember that from from our last section. Well, uh, I already know that beta is part of a triangle. It's not going to have a negative angle. Okay, so I can. I already know that I'm I'm not going to end up here. Okay. Um, the next thing is to figure that out. Okay, so what is beta? Just using arc sine, my first beta choice, my first, so I'll say beta sub 1, that's going to be, just from plugging into, into a calculator, um, it's going to be approximately, because I'm rounding to two decimal places, approximately 49.89. All right.
uh, or 49.88, I don't remember what it was. Uh, so I have this. That's, and I know that ends up, that's uh, somewhere around here. That, remember, sine is the y value on the unit circle. Sine is the y value. So the next time that that happens, where it has the same y value, is in this quadrant. So this, this angle from, from, if I have this, this angle from there to there also works. That would correspond to beta 2. This is getting really, really messy. So the green part, that would be beta 2. How do I figure that out? Well, it's actually not that hard. Uh, the whole entire uh, angle from there to there is 180 degrees. And um, I know that this angle and that angle are going to be the same. So I just subtract. Like the easy way to get beta 2 is to go 180 minus beta 1. So I'll say minus uh, 49.89. So beta 2 gives me, um, beta 2 gives me, whoops, uh, 130, whoops, 130.11. So I have two angles for beta. This is going to be a long example. I have two angles for beta, uh, two choices. That means I'll have two choices for gamma, and then I'll also have two choices for our C value, and I'll get all of them. We're definitely going to practice this more. Um, so let's see what happens. So I'm going to take this over here. Um, so beta 1 was 49.89. Beta 2 was uh, 130.11 and I'm just gonna set up two separate cases so what do I need I need I already have a I already have B I need C and I need gamma so I'll do that with my beta 1 case so with beta 1 all the angles have to add up to is it 35 yeah they all have to add up to 180 so gamma 1 would be about 95.11 and if I do the same thing for beta 2 I'll get a different gamma uh, gamma 2 and gamma 2 would end up being 14.89 you could just solve that linear equation so with these two gamma values those two beta values um, I'm gonna find out my two C values so on the left side I'll find out C1 on the right side I'll find out C2 and I'm gonna do it really quickly with like shorthand so you can see and so the video is not super long so if I use I just did sine of alpha over a uh, equals sine of gamma over C1 and then I got that and then I'll do the same idea for this and I get that we'll definitely practice this a lot more um, so sine of alpha over a equals sine of gamma 2 over C2 and then I get my second C value lots of lots of stuff went on there there's a line there, and that's, that's all. Goodbye. Sorry.